Hi, we're going to visit the place where they film one of the most iconic soap operas in Australian history. We're going to visit the street where they film it. A soap opera that's more popular outside Australia than in, of course, its neighbours. Two months ago, it was really confusing because uh, because you guys are two months behind, he's dead here and he's happy and healthy back in the UK, so people are coming across and just finding out the bad news. It's a bit of a shock. Yes, he is dead. Uh, I'll explain that later on. and I'll bring everyone up to speed. I've got some teasers as well. Um, they're four months ahead of Australian TV in the filming. And so if we saw some filming today, you wouldn't see it for six months in the UK. So I'm just going to wreck it all for you. <laughs> Go home and, and spoil it for your friends too. It's a, it's a kind of unwritten rule. There was, there's, it's only about two or three weddings in that, that there is a line from Jim Robinson going to someone who no wedding to Ramsey Street ever goes smoothly. It's all a bit kind of soft focus. It's, lots of, you know, it's all very kind of romantic and slushy. I don't know if any of you have uh, looked at a map of Melbourne and tried to figure out where Erinsborough is. Um, it's, it's almost as if it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> um, in, in truth, it's made up of a few different suburbs. The main one is just over the other side of Blackburn Road there, and it's a suburb known as Nunawaddy. Nunawaddy is where the studio is, that's basically the neighbours' headquarters. They film inside the studio, the building, outside in the grounds, as much as possible they get done there so they don't have to waste time running all over Melbourne and Victoria. Um, they've been recently filming more and more on location, showing more of Victoria, using it as the promotional vehicle that it, it definitely can be. So when you guys see a nice sunny Erinsborough, you think, yeah, let's go over there, let's, let's get a bit of sunshine. They found, just five minutes around the corner, they found this school and they thought, that's good enough for Erinsborough High. Does anyone recognise the school? No. That's a good answer. Uh, we've never seen it from this angle before, so it makes sense. Ends up because they don't understand the whole. They don't know your neighbours. They don't understand the whole big deal about it. They're oblivious to the importance of their school place. And here's those magic gates. <laughs> Within a couple of months, she'll be fine. Um, knowing that. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah. Squash those rumours. Um, what else has been happening? Paul. Um, Paul's a bit different lately. You noticed uh, quite a dramatic change. He's always been evil. Now he's not. Yeah. Um, did you miss these episodes? Did you? I hope so. Haven't been watching for a while. Um, he started suffering from headaches. He's, he was at school some day, and the, the alarm bell went off. He's like, "Oh, I'll turn it off." Really going this uh, this winter for you guys. Um, Stephanie Mack, who played Sky, is already over there promoting her, trying to get her single out there. Um, you've got, and I think she's going to do a panto. You've got Harold coming over there. Um, Boyd is over there, Ben Nichols who played Stingray is over there. Uh, they're all huge performers so they'll be great value for the Panto. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah they film an episode a day, that's 25 minutes of usable footage in one day and they have to juggle rehearsals in the studio, filming in the studio and then going out on location as well. And sometimes they're all the way down at, uh, at the surf beaches in Melbourne which is over an hour away. Um, it's all pretty private and um, secret. The main red building over there is the studio <laughs> complex. You might recognise it if you ever watched the show Prisoner, mm. Silver Gate. Um, that's where that was filmed as well. That's where a lot of um, old TV shows. Um, a lot of the cars. Um, there's Dylan's car. Dylan's uh, old Ford. And uh, oh, there's Carpenter's Garage. Previously Robinson's Repairs. Just on the left we've got Grease Monkeys. And, uh, and the Marlene's brick and shop. So yeah, Marlene Kratz. I'll let you. I will let you.
And as you can see, it's a typical Melbourne day here. The weather's pretty awful. But we're in the sort of used car lot. We're by Carpenter's old mechanic shop. We've got Marlene's old bric-a-brac shop. We've got basically everything here, quite a few things. We've got the back lot of the Nunawadin, Nunawadin um, Channel 10 Studios, where they film a lot of neighbours. But here it is, and I'm getting very wet. Recently, uh, Janae has been working there, and Ned working with her, being the, the Tim and Slave. That's how those two sort of got together after Boyd yeah, tragically dumped her. Um, <laughs> little known fact that when Charlene was working here, um, the actor who played plays Dr. Carl, Alan Fletcher, actually worked as Charlene's assistant, uh, as a different character. But, uh, but yeah, so they also use the insides of this garage. Most of their, their sets are like this, just facades. So as soon as they walk in, they have an internal set in the rest of the studio. Um, this one they actually film inside. They actually use the garage as well to tune up their own cars. Well, um, we might just take some photos in front of, like in the shade there, obviously. <laughs> if you want to pass me your camera. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Alright guys, here is Ramsey Street. All cameras are, are water resistant. They're just bringing out all these so-called water resistant cameras. All cameras are water resistant. <laughs> Well here we are on Ramsey Street itself, otherwise known as Pinnock Court in Vermont South near Glen Waverley, a suburb about half an hour away's drive in Melbourne. Well we're right on Ramsey Street where the soap for 22 years has been going on. A lot of it filmed here, really all the goings on mostly go on in this very street of Ramsey Street. Let's just take a quick look around the street, the weather is absolutely ghastly.